Hey, what's up everybody? Scotty Tradition. Scott coming back at you with another video here. Um, this is sort of like a response video, I guess, to uh, Bowman53, um, who was wondering about storage ideas and uh, ways people store their cards or ways people display their cards. Um, I'm just enjoying a nice uh, Nuclearis Moon Man here. It's a great beer. Um, but as I was saying, I don't really store my cards per se. Um, I display most of my cards. Um, and those that I don't have on display, um, my higher price cards are in the in the bank at a safety deposit box. Um, and then I also have some cards I rotate in and out, you know, that I keep in a, a pretty heavy duty safe. So um, basically, this is one of the displays I have. This is a 24 count display, graded card display. Um, I don't keep graded cards in here. Uh, actually, I have a couple. You can see the Vince Lombardi Auto and the a Rogers Patch out of five. But the rest of these are part of the Green Bay Great Set. I have them in um, one touches instead. But they are, they look pretty nice in the case. Um, this is a nicer looking case here. Um, paid a fair amount for it about three years ago. I think I paid about 350 to 400 or something like that. Um, this is a heavy, heavy dutier case. It's made of mahogany uh, for the wood with black suede. And I got this from a company called Home Plate Heroes which you can find on eBay from time to time. Um, I think they also have their own website you can buy the cases from. Um, and these actually mount in the back behind the case um, on wall mounts. Two wall mounts is pretty standard for these things. Um, and then I'll show you a couple other cases I have here on the wall. Uh, these are 50 count um, P, uh, graded display cases, so PSA back at SGC, whatever your forte is. Most minor PSA, of course, with the registry sets. Um, and so these are, I have two of these 50 count ones. These are made from cherry. Um, a little uh, less heavy duty, um, but they are a lot cheaper. You can pretty much pick these up for about 125 uh, to 150 shipped. Um, I picked these off both off of eBay a couple years back at different times. So, But they do the purpose. They hold all my, a lot of my registry set cards. And these are mounted actually on the top and in the back. So they sit on those little uh, wall hangers there. Um, they're rated for at least 50 pounds, I want to say, for, for everything. And um, one on each side, and that's what holds it up. Um, you, don't, you do not have to pound these into a stud. Um, they should do, do the trick, because that's what they're meant to do as wall hangers. So those two are like that. Um, and then my last one I have here is a, um, a actually have a 48 count uh, graded card display case from Home Plate Heroes again, kind of like the 24 count one that I just showed. Um, this one holds a ton of cards. It's really heavy. Came in a huge uh, plywood box that probably weighed 100 pounds. Um, just picked this up a few months back, and I absolutely love it. Um, again, this has got the mahogany wood and black suede look, and wall hangers are in the back. Um, these wall hangers are a little more heavy duty. I think they're rated for like a hundred pounds or something like that. So it's kind of where I keep all my cards all displayed and when they're not displayed they're either in the safe or another area I have a lot of my lower cards or else in the safety deposit box in the bank. Um, there's just a look at the wall hangers that I use. These are ones that I pulled off of a different display case. They kind of just go in the wall like that and then the case uh, has little like hinges on the back that rest right on these things right here. So pretty easy, you can find those anywhere. Home Depot, Lowe's, your local hardware store. They all have these things for a couple bucks a piece. And you can, ba you can buy them based on how heavy your item is. So hope that gives you a little more information, uh, Bowman53 or anybody else who's watching. Uh, thanks for watching the quick video and you guys have a great day.